This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello! Tesla coils are known for their ability to generate visually impressive electrical arcs or sparks, making them popular for educational demonstrations, entertainment and a hobbies as a hobbies projects. However, more, more exotic parts are required for its construction, among which the high voltage transformer is the most difficultly to, difficult to obtain. An old neon sign transformer is often used, but they are difficult to locate in many countries. Likewise, new NSTs are prohibitively expensive for the hobbyists. Alternatives to the neon sign transformers are microwave oven transformers, because they are universally available for free or at very low cost from broken microwaves, microwave ovens. But the voltage of the secondary is not su sufficient to drive the spark gap Tesla coil. The simplest way to achieve it is to use more than one microwave, microwave oven transformer. Another option is to use some sort of voltage multiplying circuit. In this it is most practical to use both options, two transformers plus, plus a multiplier, which is described in this project. In one of my previous videos, I described how to make a simplest spark gap Tesla coil using an NST transformer. This time, I will use the same components from that project, expect, expect, expect the high voltage source. And now let's explain how this type of high voltage source works and is made. I first built it according to Greg's garage Tesla coil site where this schemat schematic is presented, but the multiplier didn't work. At the very beginning, the part with the diodes connected in series uh, was not clear to me, so I decided to look at the circuit of the simplest so called Willard half wave voltage doubler. In our case, we have two such doublers. Uh, so it would be logical for the circuit to look like this. Uh, that is, the grounding should be connected between two diodes. And this is the final circuit based on which I built the device. Basically, for the shake of economy, I decided to use as many parts as possible from an old microwave oven. In this case, these are transformers, capacitors and diodes. The primary windings are in parallel connection and through a suitable fuse are connected to the main supply. The secondary windings are in series to produce twice the voltage. Let me mention that at microwave, microwave oven transformers, one layer of the secondary is almost always connected to the core of the transformer in order to avoid the, the use of expensive insulating material. So the cores are connected to each other and together with the ground. Uh, let, uh, capacitors are connected to other ends uh, and two diodes are connected in series to them, the middle of which is connected to ground. In Greg's, in Greg's circuits, two 100 ohm 100 watt resistors and one nanofarad 10 kilovolt capaci kilo capacitors are used in parallel with the diodes uh, that form an RC low pass filter intended to attenuate any radio frequency feedback from the Tesla coil. 
These feedback signals can momentarily damage the high voltage diodes. Unfortunately, resistors with such high power and are very difficult to obtain, so I successfully use uh, four all ballasts from fluorescent tubes, which are actually chokes. In the following, there is a symmetrical safety gap uh, where the grounding is in the middle, which serves to protect microwave, microwave oven transformers. Uh, with this the power supply part is ready and we can connect it to the rest of the components of, of the Tesla transformer. I will not explain the functions of the other components in detail this time because it is described in the video mentioned before. Now only the neon sign transformer will be replaced by the device described so far. Since the dual microwave oven transformer provides a relatively higher current of several hundred milliamps, the capacitor bank should have a higher value. Uh, next, let's look, let's look at how this Tesla transformer behaves in real conditions. As you can see in the video, with this high voltage power supply and other TC components, with a short tuning, I was able to achieve a spark length of more than 50 cm. The fluorescent lamp is lit at a distance from the transformer of 2.5 meters and more. During the first shots, as a precaution, I did not let the transformer work continuously more than 20 seconds. Then I tested it with continuous operation for one minute and more, so the diodes were completely cold. Uh, I only had a problem with excessive heating of the spark gap due to the higher value of the current. And finally a short conclusion, I'm uh, very pleasured with the results of this Tesla coil, although I think with further, further tuning they would be much better especially with increasing the capacitor bank, but unfortunately at the moment I used all the capacitors I had available. I expect shipment of capacitors to arrive soon, so if there are new results I will present them to you in one of the following videos. And safety note, please do not attempt to recreate this experiment, uh, the experiment show on this video, unless you are familiar with the high voltage safety technique, 
because direct current even above 60 volt may be a little even when the AC supply voltage has been disconnected due to the storage energy in the capacitors. I have no responsibility on any hazards caused by the circuit. Be very careful, this is a humble request.